I was blown away even more by the blue team's decision. Yeah. Well, not really the blue team's decision. Kevin and Kevin Tabitha's this. decision. Yeah. Daryl and Clay, I'm sorry, but we pick you. All right, Daryl and Clay, you have been unplugged. I knew they had something. Yeah. I didn't think it was full of me. I thought they had some sort of advantage. And the twist, and we didn't know it until it just happened, was that, hey, if you got the park pass, now you get to choose who You're, goes. Yeah. The burden is on you to take somebody yeah, and out. and they chose Daryl and Clay. And I'm sure Daryl and Clay are being a really good support about it. They're, they're great people. Yeah. Um, but it was just sad to I see. I mean, hopefully going. nobody takes any of this person. I don't think anybody will. Yeah. We certainly won't. If no. and when we get voted off, we will. No, it's we won't fine. Take it personally, we're good. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a long, brutal day. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. I think more brutal days are still ahead. But at least we're still around. <laughs> well, here we go, day five. Yes. And more exciting than that is we have now broken a record for the longest boondocking we've <laughs> ever done. We've yeah. done four nights now. Yeah. And even better than that, we're still in the game. That's right. <laughs> Still alive. Um, I'm feeling okay. You're sick. I am sick. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about from yesterday's challenge. I, oh. I feel I feel good, but I'm sick. Um, I'm trying not to let anybody know that because I don't want them to see it as a weakness. Um, it's not COVID. Don't worry. <laughs> Just I was that cold water. Yeah. And then warm in the day really cold, cold in the morning nights. really warm in the, in the afternoon really cold in the morning back and forth and back and forth and then taking a dip in that 50 degree water got me yeah so been two years since i've been sick and lucky me it happens during rv unplugged yeah but we don't want anybody to see that as a weakness so i'm gonna do my best to hide it yeah yeah i don't want anybody to think i'm not 100 percent down to eight. Our chances of winning twenty-five thousand dollars are a little bit better. <laughs> yes. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. And after today, it'll be even better than that because at least one team from one, at least one couple from one team is going to be going home today. Yes. All right. Ready to do it? Uh -uh. Cal, <laughs> Scout's back there getting warmed up. Yeah. He's ready to go. He's mad that he had to get out of his warm spot. Yeah. Early. Yeah. Huh. Because we had to let him out of his habitat. He sleeps up there. We had to let him out because we're going to be gone all morning until at least lunchtime. Maybe all maybe day. Maybe, you don't know, yeah. And if he wants out of there, there's nobody here to let him out. So we have to take him out. And so he's free range throughout the day. But he doesn't look very happy yeah, about it. We'll just kind all about it. It's early. It's only 7.30. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get started. Okay. We will oh. check back in in a little bit. Oh. Now we filmed the departures of the people who were voted off yesterday. Yeah. And uh, and then there was a scavenger hunt to try to find a key or a camping pass or something, yeah, something, token something, token some, token some kind of a, some kind of an advantage. And um, and uh, so that took only a little bit. So we got a break till five. Lots of unknowns still. Yeah. But there's one thing I do know. We're not going home today. Which is cool. Uh, but we'll talk all about it after everything unfolds today yeah and uh so now we got some downtime of course leslie is cleaning we our doors and windows are open all day yeah and freaking dust and dirt is well and you, we're in and out of here so we're just like dropping just clothes dropping shit. shoes yeah. just shedding stuff Changing and clothes back out and so yeah it's a lot of a lot of going on here but and i'm recharging the the batteries i don't really i didn't really need to no but but Sunday and Monday is supposed to be like all day rain apparently, so yeah. we're not going to get much solar charging. We might exactly. as well juice up now. I think if we top off today, I think we're good. For, for another four days. Four well, we days. might be good for the whole rest of the competition. Maybe. Because we were only at 50%. Well, that's We've true. been, you know, this is day five and we're at sure. 50%, so I think we'll be good. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Woo! Thank you. All right. Sneeze on all my clean stuff. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> I gotta tell you how funny Leslie is. It's lunchtime. Now we're just hanging out. We're waiting until tonight. So what they're doing is they're doing some, they're doing some interview stuff. And uh, everybody's sitting over here on our team. And it's lunchtime. So I was like, hey, you wanna go grab something to eat? She goes, yeah, go ahead. So I know what she's doing. I'm gonna confirm later during our interview after the day's over. But I think what she's doing is 
she wants at least one of us over there with everybody all together because she don't want some strategy going on. She wants them to not be able to talk. You know what I'm saying? So I'm come over here, make my food. And then when I go back over there, she'll come over here and make her food. That way we're always, at least one of us is with the majority of the group. So if they're going to conspire, they got to go, they got to find it. It's going to make it harder for them to conspire. So I don't know if it'll work or not, but I bet you that is Leslie's strategy. Well, that was the roughest night yet. Yeah. So let's go back to the first challenge of the day where they hid a token. They didn't know what, we didn't know what it was. We didn't know if it was a key token or a park token. But it was a park pass. It's and we found it. So the day started really good. Yes. So we knew we were going to be safe tonight at least. You yeah. know, so we did because we didn't know how everything was going to play out. So we go to soccer and we knew we were outmatched. Yeah. I mean, they just had the, the force, they had the brute. You were only in the game for 30 seconds? 30 freaking seconds. Yeah. Before I get hurt. And that was a hard hit I took. Hurt so bad. I don't know if it was from my hit that yeah. I turned funny and it just shot a pain right through my leg. And I was like, well, that freaking hurt. Yeah. But when, when I was tipped over, because they ran yeah. me over, but when I tried to get up off the ground, I could put no weight on that leg. I'm curious to watch the playback to see if we can see who hit you. Yeah, I want to know who hit me. But, so we lost four to nothing. I blocked the goal, I mean, though. We lost, so three, I mean, to, we lost three to nothing, and we would have lost four to nothing if you wouldn't have so. blocked the goal. So you saved a goal. In your 30 seconds, <laughs> you saved a goal. Who <laughs> me? So you did something. <laughs> I was in there for the whole game, and I didn't save a goal. I didn't make a goal, didn't save a goal, so I just wore myself out for a half hour for nothing. Yeah. So now our strategy is try to win. Try to win. Get the blue team to vote somebody off. If yeah. we don't weaken their team, a if we bit. don't win, we gotta hope that they don't gang up on us. Which I'm sure they will. Matt and Mandy and John Rachel. But if they do, we have our park pass, and we can take one of them out, and then it's just us and them head to head. Yeah. And it would be offset team sizes, so we would pull one over from the blue, a strong player, hope to use them to win, and mm -hmm. as long as we can until we lose, and then when we lose, we pick them off, yeah. and then we go to the final with one of our other teammates, and hopefully win and go to the finale. That's the plan. Lord. <sighs> okay. I hope I didn't screw us. <laughs> I hope so, too. Anyway, we're at least here for two more episodes because we're not going home today. And it's 11.30, so we need to go to bed. Yes. So if you want to keep watching the after <laughs> RV Unplugged with the Wags, hit the subscribe button, and we'll keep doing this as long as we're around. <laughs> and uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.